And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, April the 11th, 2022. It's the birthday of the columnist Ellen Goodman, born in Newton, Massachusetts, 1941, started writing her syndicated column for the Boston Globe in 1974, which she finally retired from New Year's Day 2010. She wrote in that last column, I began writing my column when my daughter was seven, and I leave as my grandson turns seven. I began writing about Gerald Ford and end writing about Barack Obama. I began on a typewriter, transmitting columns on a Xerox telecopier. Now I have a MacBook on my desk and an iPhone in my pocket. It has been a great gift to make a living trying to make sense out of the world around me. That is as much a disposition as an occupation. It was on the state 1881 Spelman College was founded in the basement of Friendship Baptist Church in Atlanta, originally known as the Atlanta Baptist Female Seminary. It's the oldest private liberal arts college for black women in the United States. It was on this day in 1945, the U.S. Army liberated the Buchenwald concentration camp near Weimar, Germany, a camp in which about 56,000 prisoners had died. It was the first to be liberated at the end of World War II. As the American Army closed in on Buchenwald, the Gestapo telephoned the camp administration to announce that it was going to blow up the camp and destroy any evidence of its existence. The camp administration, however, had already fled in fear of the Allies, and it was a prisoner who answered the phone pretending to be a camp official. He persuaded headquarters that explosives would not be needed because the camp had already been destroyed. Among those who were there who were saved by the Americans was Elie Wiesel, who went on to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986. And it's the birthday of the poet Mark Strand, born on Prince Edward Island, Canada, 1934. Though he grew up in South and Central America, his father was working for Pepsi-Cola, moved the family around Cuba to Peru to Mexico. He wanted to be a painter. He enrolled in the Yale School of Art, but then he started reading poetry, mostly Wallace Stevens, which led him to decide to become a poet. Worked as a waiter, delivered laundry to pay his way through Yale. Mark Strand, who died in 2014, and in his last years, he put away poetry and he took up painting again. Here's a poem for today by Barbara Crooker, entitled Ode to Chocolate. I hate milk chocolate, don't want clouds of cream diluting the dark night sky, don't want pralines or raisins rubble in this smooth plateau. I like my coffee black, my beer from Germany, wine from Burgundy, the darker the better. I like my heroes complicated and brooding, James Dean in oiled leather leaning on a motorcycle, you know the color. Oh, chocolate, from the spice bazaars of Africa, hauled in mills, beaten, pressed in bars, the cold slab of a cave's interior when all the stars have gone to sleep. Chocolate strolls up to the microphone and plays jazz at midnight, the low, slow notes of a bass clarinet. Chocolate saunters down the runway, slouches in quaint boutiques. Its style is je ne sais quoi. Chocolate stays up late and gambles, likes roulette, always bets on the noir. Ode to Chocolate by Barbara Crooker. That's the Writer's Almanac for Monday, April the 11th. Be well, Do good work and keep in touch.